ankeitini ari dia mbarak yetu amfumba ofisiali famisukata ni andin anfaru amni fiona mbe iraisa pirenena amturteni manazava ni eftun baibul sota tu Enyar tupkwa yitamni vutwatni resa kaisik ari mialuanzai na firumberni rala falto ni amnwe turten manazava ni eftun baibul expositori preaching usi jamtin anglisi prédication textuelle là aussi j'ai mis thème français meti mis un petit kifan nanat qui a ni un dien volu un ma fan ta travail in zan meti mis un petit kia il sait vous tunguez de meti mantan le fait in la marne zani tourteni manasava ni efton by bully izan de tout by bully foot ta by bully ten a demand ça nous tourin arrive on attend zain vous trois ni texte à one by bully on vous trois ton tourten il sait pas ni tanzun, zai tam text tam bai bulun tanzun, ente naku ni turteni. Abnu chan zayar ni raft, zai tam text, nu raft aku zai ampiarna refa ni turteni. Zanu ente na je mantra zania chana pin ar chana lana nu turin. Zai ya tosi kwe vutuat ni turteni zai mamela bela cha zai manazava ni eft ni bai bulun. Zanu tsmi yangu vamna. Lua efti si mianga vam na fsena nulumbeli zia fam mianga vam text mianga vam ten na jemanta kan futuat ni zan text zan nufutuat ni turten izayato yanku kani irushuti kara kani efa la zendra la falto ni amti andi anfaruti tetena yitsi kama na puki na kraya pukni timuti faruta ratash farusu ratani poluani timuti ya dia manenga ni doctor Tim Contrella akatia lua tia. Iz mwampi tatsik ni amzani bukni timutfaru izania amzo session vodua nizo ya manengi ni tima zani tima muda ya ptanda fiangunana na Antioch Bible Church ane Johannesburg dia ifa panda lutu Madagascar ya ya wampun mit Madagascar si isikzawa dia manengi nazo bakati ya luati ya mwampi tatsik ya amzani bukni fa faru zania tartas faru anusurata ni poli wanti muti izani. Tahin Tompu. Tahin Tompu. Bring you greetings from Johannesburg, South Africa. Afiani Johannesburg, and Afrique du Sud. It is a joy to be here with you again. This is a trip number six for me. Tena fifa lina wani miara kam na rewe tunreya isaun fanda luva kufayin miara kam na rewe to Madagascar. My my year. My life is not complete at the end of the year if I uh, I don't get to visit Madagascar almost every year. Tena matsapa wet fienu fiana ko rifa tapton to na reka tsin manandal tatia Madagascar. And it is because of you and your love for the Lord Jesus and your hospitality that you always give a give us a very warm welcome us outsiders. Kanyam na reo ni fan tena matunga san fifa din san nam faiz na reo man rei ul na fitava na reo Jesus Christi le tumpsikia. And this is a grace gift from the Lord. It's a privilege for us to be able to to partner with you in what the Lord is doing here. We we do not deserve this kindness. And for our church in Johannesburg, Antioch Bible Church, they are praying for you, and we are rejoicing with you in your uh, desire to uh, receive more training in expository preaching. Ni fianguna kwa ane chuo ane spurk zani anchok Bible Church tim faba kwa wana ruku amzofton sawa mbatina umbana jemanta ni fianara na tunareu arbola azu fan fana na tuizawa chan. From my first visit here in 2013, with Fali and his father taking me down into Murumanga in the countryside, I could see your hunger for God's word. Tafton na foluan na daluva kutati tam 2013 ni arakatam Fali sani anko hunda na. Tena magi ni fianguna na mbanfu ato tani mura manga tanya titi na hita kuni ita ita na rionyamzani tena jamani sani. 
through our very close friends at the uh, church in Anka Devatu. Every year we have the joy of, of, of hearing more news of what the Lord is doing on this island. So for my message this morning, I have some bad news and I have some good news. Which do you want me to give you first? So the bad news is it's not a normal expository sermon. But I'm sure that you will forgive me and you will not uh, crucify me. The good news is that I have the privilege of introducing the next three days and be, to be like a tour guide to point the way for the next three days. Very important. And to share with you the benefits of, an, of, a, of a preaching workshop, which we have done many times in South Africa. And I, I've, it's been a benefit for my life in many ways. So I have three questions that I must answer for you this morning in this message. When, when I, at the end of my message, if you are not able to answer one of these three questions, then I, I have failed. First, we must answer why the book of 2 Timothy. Why did we choose the book of 2 Timothy? Second, we must answer why are we doing a workshop, not a normal conference. Why a works, preaching workshop? And number three, how will the workshop work? Well, what is the method? How, what is the, uh, the plan? Do you think we can answer all three of those questions in uh, 45 minutes? Are you strong? Are you ready? Yes. All right. All right. Number one, why the book of 2 Timothy? I cannot think of a better book for us to study for the next three days. I cannot think of a better way for you to spend your time for the next three days. Unless the Lord wants to take you home to heaven. If you're not going to be in heaven, this is the best thing that we could do. So let me give you a few reasons why you should be motivated and very excited to, uh, to dig deep into this uh, into Second Timothy. Uh, first of all, because it is the very the living and active Word of God. Like the Apostle Paul tells us in chapter three, it is breathed out from God. Apostle Paul, 
It is useful and profitable to transform our lives and to bring a lasting change. Kama sua ufampianarana anu van fiena tiga mincha tena is fiuvana lafteza kazan. So spending time in God's word is is never a waste of time. It's always uh, rewarding. It's always worthwhile. Kan fan kana naftona and and alina nante nante mancha de tsimba naftona firmai na san mitwa tena misi su wati kwa wanatunzan. As we like to say, when the Bible speaks. When the Bible is talking, God is talking. It's like God has two lips. The, the Old and the New Testament are the two lips from which God speaks. If you want to hear God speaking to you today, open your Bible. If you want to hear God speaking to you out loud with an audible voice, then read the Bible out loud. Another reason why we want to study Second Timothy is because of the author. The Apostle Paul, the human author. How amazing that this letter has been preserved for us 2,000 years later from the greatest missionary and the greatest church planter ever, who ever lived. The greatest pastor and the greatest evangelist that, that ever walked upon this planet. And now he's at the end of his life after probably 30 years, three decades of faithful ministry. Name one person in all of Christian history who had these results, the kind of results that the Apostle Paul saw around the Mediterranean. And now he's about to die. It's like he's lying on his deathbed. He's speaking his final words before he goes. And when the day comes for you to die, what will be your Final words. When you are standing by the deathbed of someone you love, you listen very closely to their last words, do you not? Last Saturday, I visited the home of a man in our church who is age 48. Only three years older than me. He's 48. Almost, almost, same, almost same age as me. And the doctor tells him he has stage four cancer. It's, it's filled his body. He will die in five or six months. But he said to me, my hope is in the Lord. And he says, I thank God that now I know probably when I am going to die. Many, many people 
They do not know when they will die. It happens in a flash. But when you know that you are about to die, you speak differently. You don't speak the same way as before. So this, of all the epistles from the apostle written by Paul, this one is the most from his heart, the most real, the most personal. And another reason that we are excited to study Second Timothy is not only because of the human author, but also because of the human uh, recipients, those receiving this letter. I, I know it's early this morning, some of you are still waking up, but I want to give you a quiz, uh, 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 one exam question. It's very hard, I hope that you're ready. Who is Paul writing to? Who is the recipient of this epistle? Timothy? It's a good name. Timothy. Timothy. Only Timothy? Timothy and V. Who else? Is a kunna nuratan? The believers? Yes. The, mm-hmm. At the very last verse, the, he, Paul says, Grace to all of you. It's plural. It's, it's plural, not singular. So he speaks to Timothy and to the, he speaks to the, the shepherd and to the flock that he is leading. Remember, this is the, the, for Paul, this is his son in the faith. Maybe there are things about a young Timothy that you also can relate to, some of the, the struggles or the challenges that he was facing. You see, both with Paul and with Timothy, there are many things that, that we connect with and that are very relevant for us from 2 Timothy. Back Remember with Paul, he's in jail now. He's cold. He's uh, suffering uh, bitterly. We see that in chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 4. He's, a, he, he's in chains. And where most of his, almost all of his friends, where are they? Did they stay with him? They left him. Do you have any friends who left you? You thought thought they were reliable. You thought you could depend upon them until the trouble came and then they vanish, they disappear. And Paul's trouble is only getting worse. He doesn't see that he's going to be released from prison. It's getting darker and darker and darker. 
miamaizina miamaizina ny fiainana tsy mba hoe efa ivoka ny prison zao fa vao maika miamafa ilay fahoriana Today many churches tell us speak positive think positive and you will change the outcome Maro ny fiangonana amin'izao fotoana izao izay mampianatra hoe mitenena zavatra positifa mitenena zavatra tian'ny olona dia hiova ny resulta Do you know where that teaching comes from? The, the Baptist Church of Hades, the Hell Bible Church. It comes from the mouth of Satan. Ni fiangunan na Baptista vanem nieloa, zay fiangunan Satana zan, zen ni afin zan. That's a false doctrine. Tena fapianaran di zan ya. Paul he accepts the reality. He faces the fact. That he will be executed. They will probably take his head off of his shoulders in a few days or a few weeks. The Apostle Paul, the manaiki, ni zava misse misiaz am zofton zowa. He so metefa we execute na zan utapa na luanya afaka anj fit fit. That is why he speaks the way he does to Timothy. Ar san matunga z miteni am nifumba iteni na niam timutu. So we love Second Timothy because we respect and we admire the the, the author Paul. Katena titika ni timut farua sa titika tena manaja si miat mire ang ni apostol Paul. And we also love Second Timothy because we can relate so much to the recipients. Kanefa tena itiaba titika skua de tena ni fanrayam titika kua ni fanrayam fiena titika zania leo sa yantefan ni taratasan. Maybe some of you here did not have a good father. You did not have a Christian godly father to raise you in the faith. Same with Timothy. We learn from this uh, uh, we learn from this book and also from uh, Acts chapter 16. So ti ita tsika atom ti taratastia ary ao amin'ny asan'ny apostoly tokofay 1:10. He was a man living in a woman's world. We isani timut sanya de niena te wamni tuntulun veivavi. A godly mother, a godly grandmother. Veivavi te na panupna de manta si ni ren sanya te na panupna de manch. But where was the father? Faiz and rain. Maybe that is the reason that we see Timothy also was afraid. Sometimes he was shy. He was quite. Reserved. Sana ng gamba ng matunga tsika, maitan timutia, takane matawata, usa, sarkenat. Different from the Apostle Paul, who seemed to be more even naturally bold and and confident and outgoing. Zay mfanu tatatira kami ng Apostol Paul zay saya artina maniun mais ya sana itan rey at sa mina mina tamit. If you came to a conference, everybody would find the Apostle Paul. There he is. Ka ramanat ka konferansa mi arakam na nare de tunga te wita na rave. Tanu zay you Paul. But nobody could find Timothy. Fa Timut te wita niu la lot. Where is he? Why is he hiding? Why is he so shy? Maninan mi afnar Timut inan ma ma mena chas. Timothy, stand up, speak up. Mtangana Timut ya amresa la sao. Don't be so weak. Don't. You need to be more strong. And this church at Ephesus was a church that was very close to the heart of the Apostle Paul. He, he gave a famous uh, farewell sermon in Acts chapter 20, remember, to the elders of this church. That he loved so much. And now he's writing a farewell to their pastor. Adam's of tonzo is the manurata fanlo van beluma one like tanzo na nufenguna. Because he warned the leaders, he said the wolves will come, not from outside. The wolves will come from inside to eat and to attack your church. Ar ma piana chani tanzo na zan fenguna zan isweri wambuti de tia fanya filan fa fa wanatnya. And when we read 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy, we can hear the wolves are growling. The wolves are in the church. 
ary rehefa mamaky ny timoty voalohany sy timoty faharoa tsika dia hitantsika tokoa hoe tena efa mivovo izany amboty izany ao anatin'ny fiangonana misy azy ireo and the only hope to protect to 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 uh, uh, keep this church safe was to have a man of god speaking the word of god kanian fanatenana iarovana an'izy ireo amin'izany dia ny sinjan'ny lehilahy dia mantra marina izay ilaza ny tenina dia mantra amin'izy ireo ampianatra ny tenina dia mantra amin'izy ireo It's the only place in all of the New Testament that we read about the man of God. Ka io ian toerana ao amin'ny testamenta vaovao izay ahitantsika ny le hoe lehilahy andriamanitra na hoe olona andriamanitra. The first Timothy and second Timothy. Timothy voalohany sy Timothy faharoa. I don't know about uh, 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 Madagascar but in South Africa every church says oh we have the man of God the bishop the apostle the prophet. Asa ny eto Madagascar fa izay any Afrika dia sy dia maro ny olona milaza hoe ah izay manana ilay lehilahy andriamanitra ilay bishop ilay apostoly this title man of god has been destroyed in the, in, by christians today ka tena potika tateraka ny hevitra izany hoe lehilahy andriamanitra eo amin'ny tontolo kristiana amin'izao fotoana izao we need to rescue it we need to learn what the bible says about it once again Kamila Fundetsik izany a mila jeretsika tsara hoe inona ny tena ambarana andriamanitra ny amin'izany hoe lehilahy andriamanitra izany. And one one other reason why we love Second Timothy answering this this first question. Inona koa ary ny antony hitiavantsika ny Timothy faharoa amalitsika ilay fantanina voalohany teo. As you will see over the next three days the message of this book is powerful. Ara ka noita nareo mandritra ny telo andro manaraka izay hoatrehantsika dia tena Maheri ni afatsany taratasy faharoa ny Timothy izany. In the first five verses Paul gives a greeting and his tells of his thankfulness for Timothy. Eo amin'ny andiny dimy voalohany dia manao fiarahabana izy milaza ny amin'ny fankasitrahana ny andriamanitra ny amin'ny Timothy. And then from chapter 1 verse 6 all the way until chapter 2 verse 13. Ary aveo manomboka eo amin'ny andiny fahaenina mitoky voalohany ka hatramin'ny toky faharoa andiny fahatelo amby folo Paul explains what it is to have a steadfast or a faithful ministry dia azavain Paul hoe ahoana ary ny atao mba hisinja ny asa fanompoana mijoro tsara mahitsy tsara izany there's only two major uh, portions or two uh, halves or, or sections in, in second timothy ka I'm, i'm giving you the big picture now Kamana mena reo le fitsiria ka peny amin'ny lisa izany fizarana ro no misy ao amin'ny taratasy faharoa ho an'ny Timothy izany If Timothy was like a piece of fruit you can cut it in the middle chapter 2 verse 14 and you can open it to taste the fruit Ka raha ohatra raha tsika hoe voakazo anakiray ny taratasy ho an'ny Timothy izany dia afaka saraitsika ro misasaka tsara izy eo amin'ny andiny 5 hatra amby 10 Io zany no fisasana le izy izarana ny akrody afaka minana ny voakazo amin'izay tsika. So the first half is all about a steadfast ministry as I said. Ka le tapany voalohany izany dia ny amin'izay hoe fanompoana matoky mahitsy mijoro tsara izay. It's about how to be strong in in Christ. Izay milaza koa ahoana no hatonga tsika tanjaka ao amin'i Kristy. How to be loyal to 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 hold on to God's word. Uh, in, in the gospel but then away ma toki tsy miova ovy tsika fa tena mifikitra amin'ny tenina andriamanitra and it's about the duties or the responsibilities of a of a of a, of a faithful minister ary miresaka ny amin'ny andraikitra raisin izany panompona andriamanitra ma toki izany ko and then from chapter 2 verse 14 all the way until chapter 4 verse 8 is the the second half the second uh, section of second timothy dia veoa manomboka eo amin'ny andiny fa efatra amby dimy amby efatra amby folo ka tany amin'ny toky fa efatra andiny fa valo ilay tapany faharoa amin'ilay taratasy faharoa an'i timothy from the the private uh, instruction before for timothy now he comes to more of his his public uh, ministry in the church kare tapan voalohany de nosoratana manokana ho an'i Timothy izany a privé ho tsika de le tapan faharoa kosa de ampahabe maso izany a miresaka kosa ny amin'ny fanompoana amin'ny akabeny eo amin'ny fiangonana in the second section 
The first was about steadfast ministry. This one is about sound doctrine. Kala itapan for dua nu sikat em desa kan le asafan puna maduk cumi wauva le itapan for rukus em desa kan atone papianara nat cumi sklem. And so he begins to show him from chapter two, verse fourteen, until the end of the chapter, uh, how to deal with error and how to stay pure. Ka manungkiam nanti nafah tak meful te merasa kuzi awunan yang cian andrew fapianaran disusanya ada awunan ni itsuruna mai ciam le marn. There's a very famous preacher from California tomorrow. He'll be preaching the, those verses. Armisi piturten nanti mantam Malaysia atau ni California. And then chapter three begins to uh, prepare for the dangerous times that are coming in the last days. And the only cure, the only uh, solution or, or remedy is the sufficiency of God's word, the scriptures. So chapter 4 concludes with the charge, the challenge to preach the word. And then from chapter 4 verse 9 all the way to the end he gives some personal instructions. And in Fasivium took five of the sun, cut them far and yet, eh, Mamaranizia, Manofano van Beluma, and so on. Final warnings and also some final comforts and encouragement. Laza, Nido Faptan Gemana Faran Paran Kua, Avanatun Zan. I am praying that God will use Second Timothy in a very deep and a very personal way for each one of us who are here today, this week. Can you father could it in a way what is in Andre Montani? If you had to summarize the message of 2 Timothy, all the four chapters in one sentence, could, could you do it? I think Paul already gives it to us. Use your gift and fulfill your ministry. Chapter 1, verse 6. Chapter 4, verse 5. Use your gift and fulfill your ministry. Chapter 4, verse 5. And in Fadimia. Any pastor who does this will see a healthy church. Paul says, Timothy, no matter what, you must use your gift and fulfill your ministry. Now, 2 question. Why are we having a workshop? Why are we not just why is it not three days only preaching and sermons? It would be easier. You only have to listen. Listening is work. But let's be honest. It's easy to be passive. Please understand, we believe in preaching. Every day, today, tomorrow, Saturday, you will hear expository sermons, uh, usually twice per day. Last year, SIPT, last year was all preaching. Next year, it will be all preaching. Next year, it will be all preaching. 
God loves preaching. We love preaching. But how do you learn to preach? Do you wake up one morning a preacher? Do you take a magic pill, a preaching pill? Do you wear magic clothes? You know, the preaching jacket. I put on the jacket. Oh, the preacher. It's work. You must study. You must practice. Like Ezra. Remember Ezra? He had to study before he could obey and before he could teach others. Even, even 1 Timothy chapter 4, it says we must read the scriptures before we can teach the scriptures. Today there are many preachers running around who are not readers. If you are not a reader, you will, prob- you will probably be a very bad preacher. I have heard even yesterday there are many missionaries in Madagascar. In the remote places in the, in the south, in the north. Sometimes they say the people must not, do not need reading. They don't need to be literate. Or they only need uh, stories. If you are able to read today, raise your hand. Are you angry because somebody taught you to read? Do you hate them or do you love them? You love them. My teachers, my parents, if they did not teach me to read, how would I grow as a Christian? And the more I learn to study, to read, and to, to understand the Bible, the, the better I can teach it to others. How did Joshua learn from Moses? How did Timothy learn from his, his spiritual father, Paul? Yes, by listening, very, very much listening and hearing. But also by watching. If you are a mother or father, please raise your hand if you have children. How do your children learn from you? Is it only from talking? By listening to what you say only? Is it also by watching what you do? And by learning to do it themselves, learning to copy you. They say to my children, first I do it for you, next I do it with you. So And next you do it. And I watch. That's the goal of a workshop to give you practice to see if you can teach the word. So last year we had how many speakers? Maybe eight? Eight, eight preachers. 
This year we have 100 teachers at this conference. Fam titon tsika de anzatuni papianatra eto amty conference ti. Starting tomorrow it's your turn. Ka manum karapitsu de turnareo. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 do not be afraid. Timuti faru tuk voluani azamatawat. God will give you strength. We want you to learn by practicing. First Timothy chapter four, verse fifteen. Please turn there quickly. Paul says to Timothy, "Let everyone see that you are making progress, that you are improving and advancing as a as a uh, preacher." Is there anyone here who can say, I am perfect as a preacher? I have no room to grow. I have nothing I need to improve in. Maya? No, that would be a foolish and a proud and a crazy thing to say. So we know we need to improve. We know we want to continue to, to make the axe uh, sharp, like it says in Ecclesiastes, to, to stay sharp in our teaching and preaching. But if you are the, 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 the pastor and the preacher in your church, who is going to help you? They, who is going to, uh, to uh, give you um, good uh, correction or uh, good uh, feedback? In most churches, they have so much respect for the pastor. They're not going to tell you how you can make your sermon better. And, and maybe they should not tell you because they don't know. They, 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 they don't even uh, have knowledge. But a workshop, a workshop allows uh, preachers and teachers to help each other. But you must leave your pride, your ego at the door. You can't bring it inside with you. We forgot to warn you, when you put on your name tag, you must put off your pride. In Proverbs, we are told that a, a foolish man stops learning. He, he doesn't want to receive correction. But a wise man continues to learn. So all of his life, he keeps growing and learning and studying. Even Paul in prison, 2 Timothy chapter 4, when he is cold, still he's asking for his books. He, he never stops learning and reading and growing. So the goal of this workshop is 1 Timothy 4, verse 15, is to make progress, to take one more step in your ability in your to, uh, to preach. Let's pray. 
The goal is not to arrive or to be perfect or think that now you have uh, you have conquered uh, Second Timothy. We're, we're only asking that we help one another to take one more step in progress in how to interpret the Bible and to teach the Bible more clearly. Mazavave. Number three. We answered the first question. Why Second Timothy? We answered the second question. Why are we having a workshop? Number three. How will it work? What is the method for a workshop? We did this in Johannesburg and we had one very experienced pastor, more than 20 years, and the church was 1,000 people. And after the first day, he went home. He said goodbye. Because he said, because he wanted to be safe. He did not want other people to help him. He said, I am the expert. I don't need other people to help me to be a better preacher. But, mo but many other people stay and they grow and they learn more than they ever learned before. But today, Christianity has spread around the world, so we have so many conferences and seminars almost every week. And the seminar is safe. You sit, you listen. You take your drink. You check your phone. You sit your You wave at your friends. You eat the food. You go home to sleep. No homework, no assignments. No presentation. Nothing that you must do. And many times, I'm afraid you go home the same as before. In one ear, out the other ear. We want this to be different. I want to introduce the eight workshop leaders that God has given us. And we, we believe in them. They are ready to be martyrs on the, uh, on the altar of your, your learning and your growth. Can you please stand up, brother? We spent all of yesterday, to, yesterday doing training in 2 Timothy. Do you think maybe they have memorized the whole book of 2 Timothy? Almost. Almost. 
Thank you. So, uh, you will be given a number, of one, between one and eight, and you will be with that workshop leader for the next three days in every workshop. And you are going to have an amazing time, and I believe it will be life changing for you. Nine workshops in the next three days. Today, three workshops. And covering the first three different passages in chapter one. Tomorrow, three more workshops. Always with your, your, your same leader and your same group. Tomorrow, three workshops covering three passages in chapter two. Not all of Second Timothy, but most of it. And on Saturday, three more workshops with passages from chapter three and chapter four. And Nine times you will be taking a journey through this worksheet, the tool that was given to you. Nine different passages from Second Timothy where you will journey again and again and again through these five questions. Passage Siv Samia Fazania, De Manarakan Ti Traft Titsika, Mamalan Rufantan in Rua, or Natal Layatkas. Today you will watch your leader. He will set an example for you three times in, in, in each of the three workshops. And Rana, our Natal Layatkas at Til Fulu and Zania, De Ruptarka Nareu, Nu and Mewut, and O Example of Anarizania, Amnif and Aran and Tiki the Ti. Tomorrow, you will not be watching. Guess what you will do? He will watch you. The will watch you. And on Saturday, the same. First, number one, he will show you the outline, the, the structure of the passages, the main sections. Second, he will show you what was the original aim in, the, in, in that time, long ago, from Paul writing to Timothy. What was the original aim? And then, number three, this is a big bridge. You must not fall off this bridge. It's a, it's a ladder. You must climb very carefully. It's called the, the ladder of good interpretation, of a, a careful uh, handling of the Bible, like uh, 2 Timothy 2.15. And don't want any injuries. We don't want anyone to fall off of the ladder. Number three, he will, the leader will show you what is the, the contemporary message. What is the message of that book for today, for your audience, for your, your church? And then number four, what is a way to preach this 
passage with a, a, a sermon title or, or a theme and a, a preaching outline. The end of the fire, if it was you and a reason day, in on Luatina Zumena, you pass out Zuzania, Ari, Rawata, what to Turtin list, the Manaona, Niplon, Nani, Traft, say Turtin, say. And then number five, what are some of the applications? What must we do? How must we change because of this message today? Then if I dim Farania, in on Fampiarana, as a race in Azania, I want to lay a passage in Safdin. Each presentation will only be five minutes. Says about say a presentation in Tsukikazia, the Timinitan, Faritan, Nemanum Kamli for Lu and Katamli for Timzana, and at the Timinitan and Novananaz, Tim Chir and Aru and Ranzan. And for Friday and for Saturday, it's only ten minutes for responding and discussing each each presentation. Our Rinan Le Presentation on the Sanki Minutes and the Missy, Fifana Kaluza Kevcha. Discussion zania and one is the lava lava kufa manum kasumasi sabut zania refa yana reunden manu ande presentation dele discussion manara kanini om fullum nitra yo timen be fullum nitra zan total. I'm sure you have many questions and the leaders are they're ready they're ready to help you today to prepare you for your uh, assignment for for uh, Friday and Saturday. As kwant kafa mit mis fantani na pe maru ane mna reuania. Five of Funaku, Reptarkana Rua, Anumanana Rua, Anurana Rotaran from Lovana Layat Casazan. Are you ready for this challenge? Funavia and Arua, Yatkan Zan. Amen. You never, never will you read Second Timothy in the same way ever again. See two Vyamni, Famakana Ruan Timut Faruatam Zaitun, Famakana Ruan Timut Faruma Numkas of Tunzo. This book will jump into your life and will, it will come alive. In your mind. So, it is a yid show on Fiana Narus and Buxania Rufil, one a real. Show is, is fairly here. Shall we pray? And Yo, then if I leave Abagar, you chicken. guys will direct people, huh? Okay. The Utariana and a real one left is around a cool. I learned after we pray, I learned a very good Malagasy, a new Malagasy word. It's that it's perfect for a workshop. Refa from Fabak Chica. Nisten Malakas for Avni Nara Kundete was a tena meti, Rifa Numkajkas. Lasso! Lasso! Okay, let's pray. Pavaksik. Father, we thank you very much for this book of Second Timothy. Rayum Sutan known Jindisaea, Namni Pukun Timut Faru. We thank you that you have not left us without, a, uh, without truth and without the counsel that we need for, for life and for ministry. Makasita can know the efforts in a villa notes, Yana and a fala lan and far marina, Fana Minot Kuntu waved in ten no omni Timut Faru. We are so thankful you show us what we must believe and what we must do in our churches. Come so to the Aesati at Turno and Ain is out of Tukuni Nune, since our Tukunatone on Finguna nature they have. You show us what is right and what is wrong for us to, to say and, 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 and how to live. And we do not have to be devoured by the wolves or destroyed by the, 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 those who, the liars who deceive. But we can stand firm and we can be steadfast uh, in the truth. In your word, you give us everything we need for our life and for our ministry. So that we can see many, many more pe lost people saved. And we can see saved people uh, growing to become more like Jesus and, and more holy. But please strengthen the eight uh, workshop leaders for this uh, uh, very big challenge that they have for this week. And please strengthen all of my brothers and sisters in this workshop. 
That with your strength, they will work hard to uh, study your word and to make progress in how to teach your word better. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen.